Hiya! So in this video, we're going to be looking at question two from exam practice two. Um, and basically, I think I had mentioned this in the first video, uh, but ex question two should be the easier of the three questions. Um, so it shouldn't take too, too long, uh, but it obviously should still make you think a little bit. Um, so let's kind of look at the problem and see where to go from here. So you're working at a local fast food restaurant and your store gets two customers per minute. Um, what's the probability that you get up? So probability that you get at most two customers during the five minute break you took after the 597th customer. We want four decimal points and we want to use random variables. Um, okay. So what we're going to do is, um, let's kind of figure out what we want. So we have some interval, we have a five minute break and we want at most two customers. Uh, so this is sounding like. Um, the Poisson scatter thing, um, where we kind of have different option, not, um, yeah, Poisson point process, where we have different options of um, how to do this. This part, uh, it sounds like we're counting how many customers we have in some interval. And if you remember, that means we have to use Poisson. Um, so we're going to look at this in Poisson. Poisson, we look at this, this using uh, Poisson. Poisson. Uh, then since we get two customers, customers per minute, what this means is um, we get one customer every half a minute. So our average, this means our average is two average per minute is two. Um, and what this basically means is it's a Poisson distribution with two. Um, so or kind of. So here we have our lambda being two. This implies lambda is equal to two. Um, and we still need to figure out how long our interval is, right? So here to figure out our mu, we need to figure out our interval. And since, since our interval length length is five, we know is five uh, minutes because we have to state that everything is the same time frame. We know uh, mu equals two times five is equal 10 for the Poisson distribution. So in other words, what this tells me is if I'm looking for the Poisson probability that X, so here I need a variable. So let me not forget my random variable. So let X be the number of customers, be the number of customers uh, during the five minute break, break after the 597th, customer. So here, this is important, right? It's telling me where I'm cutting off. Uh, so I need to add all this information. So what I really want is to state what's the probability that I get at most two. So that means I want X to be less than or equal to two. So here, since we have a Poisson distribution, this means I have E to the minus mu. Um, and then I have to add up over all the possibilities, right? I can have um, X be equal to zero. I can have it be equal to one or I can have it be equal to two. These are kind of all the options um, we have. So at this point, you just need to plug in the numbers we have e to the minus 10, uh, minus 10 to the zero over zero factorial, uh, not minus 10, sorry, just 10 plus 10 to the one over one factorial plus 10 squared over two factorial. Uh, so here we get e to the minus 10 times one plus 10 over one plus 100 over two. E to the minus 10 is equal to one plus 10 plus 50. So that's 61. Uh, and so plugging this into a calculator gets me 0 0.00276939571551158. Obviously you don't need this many decimals. Um, I'm only asking for four in this case. Um, 
so I'll only you only really need to do this much. So really what we would have is 0 0.0028. Remember that you have to round. You can't just grab those numbers. You have to round, always. Um, and that's basically it. So that is question two. Uh, so I will see you in the next video uh, for question three. So I'll see you then.